Welcome to Gold Squadron Paint Wars, a painting competition that gives three painters the same model, theme, and two weeks to give us their best work, whose technique, artistic choices, and most importantly, execution of today's theme will earn them a Paint Wars Champion Medal. Hello everybody, my name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Lamu Galactic Championship Qualifier. We're ready to have a good time. We have here on our screen, James Castanada versus Sebastian Demers. The Republic, excuse, don't lies, that was the last two games. The Rebellion versus the Separatists. Today I'm joined by William Hagwood on the commentary. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. And James Ritter in the booth. Stats and stuff. That's right. So let, we're going to break down those. We're going to break down the matchups here in a little bit. But before we do that, I want to remind you that this game and all of our games today are brought to you by Curled Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code GSP2021 for 15 percent off also shout out to district foundry use that same coupon code and kuat print yards use code gsp now before we open up that choose your champion poll let's go ahead and start breaking down those lists it is time to choose your champion right i'm gonna switch it up this time and i'm gonna break down special demers list first that's your bet to all champion. You better be betting all. Don't be skimping. I see you, Air Knight. Don't be skimping. Uh, <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Uh, anyways, Sebastian Demers rocking the true uh, Confederate of Independent Systems, the CIS, uh, with droids and Grievous. Um... Let's start with Grievous, then. Uh, he is the Tactical Relay Carrier. Uh, that is Kraken. Kraken allows three friendly ships up to range uh, 0 to 3 to not remove one Calculate token. And we see those out onto the field already. In addition to that, he's rocking Impervium Plating and Soulless One, uh, giving a lot of extra health and chunk uh, to that Bulba Lab. And of course, uh, he gets uh, Grievous' his ability give some uh, modifications uh, re-rolls to be specific uh, when attacking outside of the defender's arc uh, with him though he is supported by DGS 047 uh, that's the I-1 HMP uh, with Zam Crew and Dark One Probe Droids we'll be talking about Zam Crew and the condition cards all game uh, but mostly it's going to be it's going to be uh you should thank me to be getting some free target locks uh, after defending uh speaking of target locks you got the dark one probe droid shot out of the front here going to be uh chasing down these ships giving long range uh locking capabilities um anytime a friendly ship locks an object or jams an enemy ship uh, you can measure from the probe droid. Super nice. Uh, to uh, get the locks out early for networked aim, which is the ship ability of the HMP. Uh, as a reminder, you cannot spend your locks when you're an HMP, but you can reroll a number of dice up to the number of friendly locks on the defender. Uh, so it works kind of like fire control system, if you're familiar with that. 
uh, to give you some rerolls. But the rest of the squad here is the Geonosian prototypes uh, with the synced laser cannons. So the synced laser cannons is going to give it a three dice uh, attack out of its front arc uh, at range two to three. And it can even, uh, if it's calculating, which it probably is because of Kraken, I can even deny the range bonus as well. Uh, some real long range firepower there for it. And well, without any charges, any uh, lock requirements or anything like that. Uh, so super useful. And of course, how could I forget uh, the uh, repulsor stabilizer is giving him the slip slip, slip and slide. Um, We'll see them go active and inactive here. Uh, they all appear to be... Oh, there it goes. Just flips it now uh, to activate the repulsor stabilizers. So it can slip to basically the bottom of the board here. And uh, as they come around um, in a cool kind of helicopter reaction. You see I'm picking up some locks here utilizing the probe droid. I guess they're just probably in range to be honest with you. But yep. they activate the repulsors, get their locks. Holding on to those calculates from before. Uh, that is a good uh, modification setup here. And remember, those HMPs have 180 degree arcs. Uh, so they are covering a lot of this board. Uh, the A-Wings are going to have to try extremely hard to get out of all that arc coverage. Speaking of A-Wings, though, mm -hmm. let's flip over to the other side. Uh, this is James Castaneda. Also known as Carl uh, in the tournament scene. Rocking the Rebel Alliance. Uh, it has three A Wings Harrison, Dula, Wedge Antilles, and Arvel uh, with Predator. Uh, Wedge keeps his ability, if you're familiar with his X Wing version, uh, to reduce the amount of dice the defender rolls by one. Uh, Arvel can uh, make primary attacks at range zero, can he even boost into people. Um, instead of failing it, it executes as a maneuver instead. Very cool to get up in the grill of uh, some ships. Plus also, if you're at range zero, they can't shoot back at you. Obviously, we, if you've been in anywhere uh, in X-Wing very recently, mm -hmm. you should know about Hera being able to pass off uh, tokens uh, during the modify dice step uh, to help out our friends there. And now here's the interesting piece. Um, we've all seen those uh, before. Um, but Lando coming in with uh, Nine Nub and the Falcon title. Falcon title is going to give him a white evade action. And if you are evading uh, while you defend, you can even reroll your dice. They got a chance there to keep your evade token for the next defense. Uh, but Lando's ability says after you fully execute a blue maneuver, you can choose a friendly ship at range 0 to 3. And that ship may perform an action. What's nice about this is that you can give out uh, a token or a barrel roll, rather, uh, either one, to one of these A wings, and they can link off of that with their vectored thrusters into a red boost. Um, you, the main thing I assume is going to be to give Hera evades and focuses to s support the whole team. Um, until Lando can, uh, until he needs to go off on his own, and then he can focus evade, boost evade, uh, focus lock, pretty much do any two actions he wants. But he'll be stuck doing uh, one, two, and three banks as he kind of circles the board here. And we already started the toilet ball. My uh, descriptions have gone on for a while because <laughs> I, uh, I figured that uh, that we weren't gonna um, joust. No. Uh, smartly, uh, James decided to turn away from the um, the joust here and uh, is going to try to drag them through the asteroid field. I'm I'm surprised. One of the things I'm surprised of. What in the world? Oh, sorry about that, everybody. You got surprised by something, apparently. Oh. Um. Okay. Well. Uh, I gotta go to my basement. There's a tornado warning near my home. So keep on casting, Will. I'll be in the basement. Be safe, my brother. Be safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna 
pull up weather reports here to make sure Chicago is okay. They're normally on the river, and um, so they should be fine. Or river. I guess there is a river in Chicago. Um. Anyways, that's spooky. Ooh, everybody stay safe today. I know there's a lot of storms here in the what Midwest. What is going on today? There's a flash flood warning in northeastern uh, Illinois. Uh, that's where I live. Or no, that's Chicago. I, I live in the western part. Uh, do, you, do you know I, where you live, Will? No, because I actually live in Iowa, so I was wrong. I was just kidding. I was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, like I said, stay safe out there. Uh, there is flash flood and tornado warnings, apparently. No big deal. We got this covered. Uh, we got some target locks moved around here. Yeah, so like he doesn't really need that lock on all three of the locks on uh, Lando. So he's actually splitting no. it to where he has one lock on three different ships. Uh, that way, that way he he can reroll one die against all of the, all of his opponent's ships. Right, exactly. Because they can't spend those locks, they just gives them rerolls. You might as well spend it or spread the love a bit. Yeah sense to me um blinda is concerned about dion's power um i'm sure it'll be fine uh the tournament will go on uh i, I have my obs downloaded so i'll yeah, I can, pick up I the can, slack i guess yeah yeah we'll, 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 well yeah we will we will get uh, yeah you stream i don't know if we could if we could combo together to make one good stream but <laughs> we'll <laughs> Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we will try our best to you, uh, you ain't getting, um, or, uh, you ain't going to not get X-Wing, I'll tell you that much. Um, and certainly, like I said, the tournament will move, uh, will press on here. So we didn't see any slips there, actually. Yeah, they from the so it's, it's, it's interesting, because, like, like, usually, once they're in the active position, like, they're ready for slipping. Um, mm -hmm. he was like, they have to slip unless they go straight or stop. Right. But so he didn't he unflip can't... the, he didn't unflip the, uh, stabilizers though. So, so he's still ready to slip. Yeah. So after you, um, full execute, oh, after you fully execute a non size slip maneuver, you may flip this card. So he chose may. to keep them ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. kind of weird. No, cause I think, uh, uh, I think he's kind of waiting for Grievous to go by for a second here. And then these guys get hard to, and then one bank. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even know what's on the dial here. We got yeah, a nice. Let, let, let me pull it up for the stream. Oh, no, the wrong bank's red. Oh, Let's yeah, check it out yeah, here. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I was trying to think. I was, I was why the question mark was on my thing. I was like, you don't normally see them one banking. Yeah, they have two Yeah. Banks. Yeah, so they can hard to uh, slip and then hard to and try to head off uh, these A wings coming through. Or they can stop. Uh, they got delay. Oh yeah, that's true. Because they, it, they do have really good those two hard turns, you know. Right. Oh, I say yeah. Slip and then stop. Yeah. Uh, slip, stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Slip. Stop. Mm -hmm. Slip. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't next turn. They're in slip mode. Yeah, but after they stop, they can. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm thinking about two turns, Adam. Yep. Yeah. But we're on the right page, though. Um, so they got options. I think the, a lot of the positioning is more about uh, Grievous at this point. Uh, we're shooting probes, though. Good on uh, these players to recognize the shot on the probe. Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, so it is. Um, oh, they will. Like, yeah. I think I think that's not even the closest point. The closest point is I think is the other nub. It's it's a. Yeah, I'm just touch ruling it so we could pick up the pace here. <laughs> yeah. this, this is super important. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, yeah, one hit. All right, well, what? Gas cloud, three agility. Uh, those probes got stats. If you never played against probe yeah, droids, let me, let me they do I have stats. Yeah, three agility, one hole. So if he rolls, he rolls an evade. Oh, he didn't roll yet? 
No, he has he yep. So he's yeah, fine. He's fine. Yep, they do have stats. Um, the rarely seen probe droid card. I, I... Yeah, the d and wedge's ability does work on this, so it's only going to be three dice, even though it's obstructed. Does it say ship? No, he's the defender. Ship. Yeah, the defender. Yeah. This one. Yeah. He got the evade though. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Probe droids. Oh, we got one more shot here from... Yeah, might have range one, yeah. Range one, three on four. I mean, it's a moral victory. No. Nope. It, yeah. it was the opposite of moral victory. Uh, moral for that. Loss. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right. Well, interesting. So they... Uh, the A-Wings really trying to put a lot of pressure here on the HMPs, knowing that they don't have K-turns. They have to do that weird side slip. Um, but is that a trap? I feel like that's a trap. Um, what's a trap? To try to... Yeah, these HMPs know what they're doing. They're, they're drawing these A-Wings out into the open to the bottom of the board here. And mm -hmm. they're going to try to see if they can uh, get the engagement um, closer to the bottom of the board with no obstacles. That way they don't have, they don't have to worry about them. Right. I mean, also when you're side slipping too with that 180, you want your back to the board edge because then yeah, people can't get behind you. Where they're going to be after they slide slip with the two left, or it's the two right slide slip, right? You, right, because it's the direction you dial in the direction you want your front to be facing. Oh, not that's the, not, yeah. That's I guess that's a good way to think about it, but confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you're, you yeah you're. you're your cockpit still looks in the direction that you dialed, even though your ship moved yeah. in the weird way. That's a good way to think about it. Because if you'd done the two turn, you'd be facing to your right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a helicopter. Side, yeah, if you do the side slip two turn, you're still facing to your right, you're just on the other side of the two turn. Yeah. Right, okay. right, right. I'm good with that. Tokyo drift style. Uh, yeah, that's Tokyo drift I... style, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, and then, yeah, so they, they want to be in this corner because now I think they might even be able to side slip. Like, like I said, if they stopped here, they might be able to side slip again to, to, the, to the left. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. I see it now, yeah. Yeah, I think they, I think they might be able to side slip again. And so we've, we've actually seen... A very similar position, um, actually, with... I think there's too many calculates out there, but that's... Uh, yeah, there's too many calculates, but it's fine. Um, we've seen that before with uh, Ryan Staniszewski and the... On the GSP showdown, where oh, he... Don't put remind all of his... me. What's that? I said, don't remind me, but yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah where he, he, he put all of his HMPs into the corner and like his his opponent tried to get behind him but couldn't because he's in the corner right that opponent was me that's why i was making the joke yeah uh, <laughs> all right well, let's see where you did your best, though. <laughs> i mean that was a bad matchup i don't know yeah, what those to say fangs, right yeah. yeah the fangs we got i got jousty boys uh versus uh <laughs> Big ol' arcs, yeah, didn't yeah, work out. Like 180 arcs, yeah. Did not work out. Ooh. All right, so uh, Arvel here taking uh, smartly. I was worried. I was like, man, if those A-Wings, if all that Taji flying, and then those A-Wings come screaming down this lane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just for nothing, right? So they're going to wait for Hera and Lando. Hera does have a range two limitation, so they can't really spread out too much. Um, but that's a tanky Lando, though, with yeah. the evade rerolls yeah. and Hera ba backing him up. It's basically a Han Solo rerolls on his on his defense dice. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then uh, weak Spartan in the chat. Yeah, they're sort of like the IGD funky um, sloops, but in the opposite direction. If that makes sense. We can see like a grievous like oh man. Grievous yeah, we have a here. Yeah, Mad Chemist. Uh yeah, this is uh 
the H and P's are hard to engage, so I don't I don't feel bad for James here taking his time trying to find a uh, a point here. I do think he's wasting time shooting these probes, but maybe not. Not like wasting uh, his time yeah, like yeah, he yeah. yeah, not wasting the time like he's yeah. not gonna kill him, but like wasting Mor game clock. Moral victory. I don't think you can lock that probe. Uh, can you, you, can. Lock you can lock you any can. object. Come on. Can you though? Yeah, you can, you can lock anything. Except yourself. That's like the only thing you can't lock. Mm, there you go. I was gonna say, uh, uh oh, oh you trying to bait me out. <laughs> 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 Alright, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Anyways, uh oh, Grievous here staying within that range three, able to hold off on the calculates. Um from yeah, being so removed. He actually, he actually took the, the calculate action because he wasn't sure if he'd be able to keep the yellows calculate. So he next round, if he decides to do like a five straight or something, um, mm -hmm. and he could he could really get in there and he'll have that calculate to back him up. All right, yeah, with the A-Wings turning away, it's time for the HMPs to put the pressure on uh, the Rebels here. Uh, the g Notions have hard threes, right? Yeah. Pull up that dial again. Yeah, they, yeah, they got hard threes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they can come in, take that, uh, take the neutral board edge again, uh, and try to head off against Lando uh, face to face. The only, the only basic maneuver they don't have is the one hard. Yeah, they're good little ships. Yeah. I mean, they don't have K turns, so. Oh, that's, that's and, basic. Well, I mean, like they don't have K turns, so that. They should have more basic maneuvers. I I agree with you, but I'm just in my own world, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. We see uh, two hard, so they're actually um, leaving the bottom left of the board and kind of flip those uh, repulsor lift stabilizers. To the active side, they're in helicopter mode again. Mm hmm. Yeah, because, yeah, it's so easy to just go straight down the neutral board edge here and then slip into the bottom corner, uh, knowing that uh, he just came out of a hard two. So the hard two slip should keep him on the board. No problem. Yeah. Uh, the HMP is just doing HMP things. Uh, James, what are we doing with these? A wings. How, how can you find a good engagement on these 180s? You don't. You don't. That, that that's the thing. Like the HMPs, they they set the engagement. I mean, I mean, like we, we saw it with. Your, I mean, not not to, not to put your your game on, <laughs> on no, no. again, but no, you, no. you tried your saying. best, and and like you 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 got you tried to get in there as much as you could, and yeah, they they created the engagement. Yeah, I mean, they're not, like, super defensive. We don't have any, uh, like, the K2B4 um, relay that gives out some evades or uh, things like that. Um, so with some concentrated fire, you could take one down early. But without any munitions, prockets, things like that, these A-Wings are really going to have a hard time. The only thing that I could maybe see working out for them is being Arbol being able to get really close and uh, getting some good um, up close and personal and uh, being able to deny one of those shots into him. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. Yeah, we normally see uh, well, that's what I was going to say. We normally see Arbol with intimidation. Yeah, I don't think um, no, I don't think it is. It's really good. Turns out it's very good. Wait, is it? Because I thought, uh. No, it's not. It's sad. It's sad. Um, Goose Drew wanting Lando to sloop and kind of break off in a separate direction. That wouldn't be the worst idea, honestly. Uh, the Falcon's very predictable. These A Wings are starting to be predictable because they've. Uh, they're getting cornered already. It doesn't look like they are, but they are now cornered. Yeah, 
and the thing is if they go slow then the HMPs are going to have a better engagement because they have the same laser cannon. And if they go fast, then they can they possibly put themselves out of uh, out of place with the rest of their team. Right. I mean, we could see maybe just some hard ones stay at long range and then uh, turn in on Grievous with your whole party. Yeah. Because Grievous would shut down the Kraken, but he's uh, he's. Oh, he's so hard. To, he's so hard to get rid of. Yeah. If you, it, he's the most defensive ship by yeah. far. He's yeah. got two especially, agility. Especially uh, the soulless the, one rerolls. And the impervium plating. Oh yeah, you can't. So cool uh, crits, yeah. Yeah, let's read the impervium plating because a lot of that's a weird card, and a lot of people aren't familiar with it. So the soulless one gives you the the rerolls outside of uh, when the 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 attacker is outside of your firing arc. Um, and two extra hulls, so that gives it the the five two stat line there. But impervium plating says before you would be dealt a face up ship damage card, you can spend one of its two charges to discard that card instead. So if you're gonna take a direct hit, discard it. Um, what's some other bad ones? Console fire, uh, uh, structural hit. damage. Oh, did you start to say direct hit? Yeah, direct hit is the, the yeah. direct hit is yeah, the obvious console one. Console fire, damaged engine. Yeah, did I, am I just copying now? No, uh, there's only so many, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was like, as soon as I said it, I was like, wait, I think he just said that. Yeah, I literally said all those, but like I said, there's not too many. Um, yeah, I, I think there are more sh pilots than there are, pilot crits than there are ship crits. No, no, there's only four pilots. Is there? Yeah. Uh, stunned, wounded. Uh, panicked and blinded. It's easy to remember because all of those say pilot afterwards. Sound pilot, wounded oh, pilot, really? yeah. panicked pilot. So it's easy to remember. You actually don't have to. You don't have to memorize which one's which. Is did, does the card say pilot? Because <laughs> it's a pilot trait. Then. Oh, I think I missed betting. Rip. Uh. <laughs> Put it, put it in right now. No, it, it, it's like it's auto closed. Uh -oh. oh, you miss betting, like yeah. to put your bet in. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you missed it to uh, for this for the like for the round, so people All could right. bet. Yeah, so Wedge here could walk boost into Grievous. Yeah, we see Grievous held that calculate again for the second round. I think it's a smart play. Yeah, well, I think he was out of range for yellow. Oh, wow, he's not. He's going to focus fire. Ooh. Yeah, because Lando, did you remember Lando gives out actions? Yeah. Lando, I do love uh, Lando's ability is because uh, you're like, oh, I'll try to activate my Lando ability, and you secretly get to look for who you can target lock as well. Yeah, let me just and then, casually look for my. <laughs> but like, yeah, because uh, I did it one time. I was like, dude, this you're the only ship on the board. Why are you measuring? And I was like, I can measure. <laughs> let me measure. I, I'm allowed to measure, sir. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, just out though for yeah. Lando. Um, that's yeah, okay. Hero. Previous to the shot, yeah. No. All right, watch. Uh, put the lock on the HNP here. Could be some early yeah. damage. Now I do, I I do think that uh, Lando and Hera, either one, I is what I'm trying to say. Uh, could fight Grievous one on one. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah, because they're both higher initiative, yeah. Right. But mainly that for that reason. Yeah. Um, but that, you still gotta take out these ancient peas first, so I can I understand yeah. the target priority. Got the one evade from the long range there, so just a single damage going into the green HMP. See what Arvo has to say about it. Does have the focus, it looks like, from Hera available if necessary. Yeah. I don't think I'd spend though, I'd save it for defense. Oh, 
I, He's trying. I, I would not spend that. You're going to get sync laser cannon all over the place. Yeah, but you got two agility and evade. You're fine. You just only got calculates and a single reroll. Actually, that sounds that oh, sounds he, a lot he, worse when I say it out loud. What was that? <laughs> uh, nothing. Um, the HCP Natty's out. Yeah, I was off. Yeah, I was yeah, off I, randomly I, about Hera. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that was a bad spend for the focus. Mm, I don't. I don't think so. He's got to get aggressive here because if he can, if he could have put out some early damage here, you know, two or three damage, yeah, but, uh, yeah, then next round he could have... initiative kill it. Yeah, but the, the yeah, I don't know. Because it's it's, the thing is going to have reroll, 80 reroll, um, with two calculates, and if he doesn't spend both the, all of the calculates, then he can use the sync laser cannon. So yeah, here this is exactly what he wants. Yeah, reroll. Yeah, spend one. Calculate. And then he has the sync laser cannon ability. Yep. Sync laser says, oh, uh, if you're calculating, does not get the range bonus. Yeah. And remember, if you just, uh, if you didn't, if you missed my thorough breakdown, uh, these HMPs have network to aim, so it doesn't need to spend the lock. Uh, it doesn't even need to have their own lock on the ship. Any locked ship, uh, they get a reroll. Oh, friendly locks. Yep, number of friendly locks. I was like, wait, does that work if you're, the enemy locked their own ships? No, it does not. Uh, two evades and the evade token. You were worried. He still has ready to shoot. Oh, they did do focus fire into wedge. Interesting. A good call that that was in arc. The red is DGS, oh. so no sinks here, and yeah. probably not gonna waste the calculates. He has one, so keep he keeps one for with. Oh, he's been both. Oh wow. He has three other calculates. Grievous is holding on to one, so I could see it. We have range three Ooh. natties. Okay, natties all right. Chat. Come on. Yeah, all right, so. Uh, warning shots ended up being just one damage on green. Not terrible, but and that's like I was saying, like you're you're worried about um, you know taking one or two damage here, but uh, the regardless of how much health the A wings have now, they could still die to concentrated fire next round. Whereas the HMPs, if it's at eight health. Uh, might not even die at the end of uh, like shooting next round. So yeah. All right, my I house like did this. not get blown over. Okay, hey. that's good. That's good. We we were very worried. We had to look up the flash flood warnings and tornado warnings and all that. All right, we're good. Gold Gold Squadron fam is good. Hopefully, everybody else is. Uh, so let's see. What what are we at right now? Still no score, huh? We they, I mean they barely engaged. No, there's uh the A wings basically are weren't sure how to engage the HMPs. Uh, the HMPs uh, flown accidentally here, uh, utilizing side slips to keep the neutral edge um, on their backs, mm -hmm. and we've essentially uh, came into a uh, well the. Uh, don't mean this offensive uh, to these uh, players, but uh, the dishonorable joust where you toll the bulge for a while and eventually you just end up driving straight at each yep. other at some point, right? Well, oh, I mean, that, that happens because you're looking you're looking for an advantage, right? You're looking for right, an angle just, or, or, or something, and then you just you just don't have it. Yeah, neither, neither party ends up fighting it. You just <laughs> drive right straight towards each other. Um, uh, yeah, it's like an honorable joust, but it takes 20 minutes to find it. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But I mean, like for, for the Asian peas, I think they really have to like that. That is one of the big advantages of the HMP is that it can dictate where 
and how the engagement happens, even though they don't have that, um, what's it called, final salvo advantage. Right. Yeah, no, and they're obviously, they're, they are nowhere near the speed of a Falcon or an A-Wing. So it's not like they can go chase down the other ships. They they kind of just had to wait for them to show up. And uh, we'll, we'll see here uh, where the targets lie. Um, I can't imagine the Rebels are going to try to take off Grievous. Uh, maybe if you get everybody into range one of an HMP, you could take it down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would... I would much rather take down one of these Geonosians than uh, DGS-47. Yep. Yeah. Who, who's Kraken is on Grievous? Okay. Did somebody shoot at Zam? Zam charges? Oh. No. I'm going to type that real quick before they oh, do yeah, anything he may, else. He may have gotten it because he played the other card. He was in arc. Was he? Yeah, DGS. He might have been in arc. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. He played. What is it? You should thank me. Okay. Because they do spawn in uh, up. You know what I mean? They spawn in active. No. So they, it's. I, I I did see I did see them go down earlier. Okay. Okay. You got to go up to get down to go up again. <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. Well, so looking at this, we got Arvel, who's the closest to the action. Has there been any damage whatsoever? It looks, oh, we got a shield, a single shield on the Geonosian. Come so, on. That's, that's, that's some damage. Yeah. I mean, it's only got seven now. I mean, it. Uh, what do I say? So, wait. The G-Notions are three, is that right? No, they're only two. Okay. Two, yeah. The only one that matched <laughs> right now is uh, Wedge and Grievous. I have to I have to read this chat. Uh, Bo the Bardman says, I finished my round three game and come check out, and they haven't even engaged? <laughs> <laughs> what? They got shots. They changed some shots. They, they killed a probe droid. I mean, there's been casualties. There. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. So here we go. Those and Arvel coming in. I don't think Arvel can get the range zero here. That seems just short. Yep. I mean, yeah. I'm fascinated by these HMP moves here. Only one slipped. DGS bumped. And then the other yellow just went forward. Interesting. Yep, and I think he may have been anticipating those HMPs coming a little bit faster. Because usually you bring Arvel, you want to get that range zero. But uh, didn't didn't work out. I think you're expecting them all to slip there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he could he could potentially catch one. Yeah, and I mean he was trying to get it right. He did the three bank. He did as fa as fast as he could in that forty five degree angle. Just could not mm -hmm. reach it. Wedge. Yeah, I'm surprised he did the linked, um, because now Lando can't help him out at all. But mm -hmm. Lando could help out Hera. True. But she's gonna have to three bank boost as well then to keep that range two bubble. <laughs> what do you got here he just does have lock on green I think you just go all in on green here yep, if you can trade an A-wing for an HMP all the better choose like that, one that's... and go with it right well that's what I was saying before that like Lando could fight Grievous later on right mm -hmm. like Lando Lando could fight Grievous and a hurt HMP. No problem. But he can't fight two, you know what I mean? Like, you leave two HMPs on the board, it's not going to be enough. All right, so Wedge also taking the boost here. So we got five dice on a seven health ship. See if Lando can come in and help. 
The arc is pointed the wrong way right now. Could use his ability to flip that arc. Now remember, the ability on Lando Calrissian. After you fully execute a blue maneuver, you may choose a friendly ship at range 0 to 3. That ship may perform an action. And that includes himself, 0 to 3. And it doesn't say another friendly ship. It's just friendly ship. Will, I remember right at the beginning of second edition, we were flying that Lando uh, Wedge Luke list. Oh, yeah. That was tons of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, a little support. Everybody's kind of uh, independent. Pretty interesting. Oh, they banned it, though. Wedge isn't in hyperspace anymore, I don't think. Mm -mm. Banned. Will, Dion, too strong. Too strong. Actually, I think Wedge went up in points and it made it like 201 or something mm. for a while. Exactly. Too good. All right. Big decisions here on Lando's two actions. Focus boost. Um, he might be the target instead of the A-wings, though. Yep. You know it's what like, I mean? It's like you're coming in. I'm coming in to help. Then you realize, wait, I might. Oh, wait. I'm <laughs> going to boost into every arc. I think he's already in every arc. Uh, from where he's standing there, so uh, he could commit. He could commit to just f shooting. Like, don't rotate and target lock red DGS forty seven. I know. I know no, that feels bad. No, you need to get green off the board. You have Hera for backup, so she could just focus. Yep, and it takes the rotate. It also keeps you unstressed. Um, you shouldn't have that stress over down there. Unstress. Thanks, James. They'll find it eventually. Um, and he's able to evade. There is some very interesting synergies uh, between the Millennium Falcon title and Hera, which I really do enjoy. Because uh, you can sling the evade and then reroll the dice. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, Hera just. Uh, oh, yeah. She evades because the other two A Wings had focused. Uh, in case they need some double modification, though. She's out on green, though, unfortunately. Oh, can't help. Well, you take your take your shot into yellow, then, at that point, right? Yep, there it is. Now, remember, these HMPs have networked aim, not network calculations, so they cannot share calculates. But, yep, the but she, she blinks out here, so... Friendly target locks allowing you to get those re-rolls. One per target lock. And here's Lando firing at the target, going at green. To Geonosian. Two hits. Oof, chose the wrong man. Spend the lock. And got what he needed. There you go. Same same difference. And got all three through. Woo! All right, that's... That's the start to they're looking for. Uh, with only uh, four hull remaining, uh, he's got five dice on that HNP between the two A-Wings. So it still has the potential to take it out. Could be a winning round for the Rebels here. All right, Grievous going to fire at Arvel. Ability, offensive ability is on. Going to be able to reroll up to two attack dice because the enemy does not have them in his arc got two hits two blanks reroll those two can you put a hurting on the arvel and yet you, you were able to convert for a crit two hits and a crit waiting for the response do you spend do you not spend the focus if you uh, are able uh, well here's here's a choice right here if you spend, spend the invade take your shields and hold nope. on. Uh, spin. Spin your focus then. Yep. Because of the crit. Th this was the exact uh, the exact situation I was about to ask about. It's like, if you're going to take a crit, do you still hold on to it? And the answer is no. I, I don't. I wouldn't either. So. No, because your crit could be blinded and then you look real dumb. Or direct and you could just be dead. So <laughs> <laughs> you'd look real dumb. Even look even dumber. Uh, yeah. Just being dead. Hold on to a focus token. Uh, we got Wedge. Two on uh, zero. One um, hit. Has the lock from last round. Try again. And that means okay. both of those are landing. Wedge's ability taking away a defensive die. That means that HMP is down to two. 
Arvel could be the mm -hmm. hero. Yep, has the range one. No predator on green, but has the range one here. All three just puts it down. One. Oh, no. Not going to be See enough. If that focus would have helped. It wouldn't have. All right. Uh, green survives. Let's see if Arvo can do the same. He's already lost two shields, two hole left. That umbrella spanning out range one onto Arvo. Calculate out. Had a third die because it's range one. Let's add that to the pool first. Well, you probably. Let's see, you have two calculations. You just re-roll one, right? Yeah, I mean, you don't even get the option on that one. Yeah, and then roll the blank. So, drop, drop some both. Go all in here to make sure that uh, the A-Wing's taken off the board. Three defense dice and safe. All right, Arvel, step one. Guy to staying alive in this fight. Just roll <laughs> squiggles. All right, second yeah, one. Yeah, but this is uh, getting the uh, the synced laser cannons to shoot range one, so uh, wasting their extra abilities there. But gets a uh, three natty. Hit, hit, crit, and what do we got here for Arvel? Digging deep. Oh, got it. Three evades. Arvel, oh, how Get dare you? All right, and this one bumped uh, without a Kraken token. Uh, so just has the single die reroll from Network to Aim. Might be enough. Uh, Got that's... two hits. Is he going to do Got the Got three anyway. Ooh, all right. Getting two squiggles to stay on the board. Does. And he gets it. Wow. Okay. The tyranny uh, of three then... agility show, showing its face <laughs> to the Separatist Alliance. Yep, and we have a we have a strain coming down. Uh, that's DGS 47's ability. Gets a pre-lock when he attacks somebody in his front arc, and the defender receives a strain um, when uh, that ship was in its bullseye. He did already have the lock on um, Arvel. You had mentioned about the network game before, Dion. They had smartly um, put those locks uh, spread across uh, the two A-Wings and Lando. Mm -hmm. uh, Got to spread the love there. Shout out to Etchleon71 in the chat. Our first time talking in the GSP chat. Welcome. Welcome to the conversation. He says, I never roll two or three evades with aces, and this distorts the game in favor of Sebastian. I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. Being able to keep keep, uh, keep that HMP alive is massive. And then also to deliver even any damage. Well, mind you, also, Arvel probably should be dead too. So, so <laughs> You might you should know, have died on the second shot. Yeah. going to be honest with you, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is the problem, though, is that all those A-Wings are stressed right now. So, like, where are you going? Mm -hmm. uh, you're too hard left with Arvel. Uh, you might run into the yellow HMP. Which would be well, these, these HMPs got to move out of the way, though, right? Well, the yellow HMP is going to too hard. Oh, too hard slip? Oh, I see. Oh, uh, left. Yeah. Left. Ship left. Yes, yes, yes. Not, not left towards Grievous. No. Okay. I mean, you you have to imagine uh, Green's gonna one or two forward to try to block that, then, right? Well, I mean, it depends on if the, if that HMP wants to slip or not. I feel like that work. Uh, the this Rebel list isn't great in the knife fighting. Uh, you have uh, all different initiatives. Uh, Lando taking up a lot of space. Um, probably going to block Hera. Um, and has limited maneuvers for a blue. Maybe one straight? Uh, one make right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like, I feel like Green's just going to fight forward this round. And just go for the block. Yeah, probably. Get a little crazy. Get, get a little crazy. 
4K. Who? Lando? Yeah. It, it, it puts him off the board. No. No, no he's got that all day. We talk about off right, the board. He's got it. He's got it. Uh, he's got it. Say but he's it's a terrible no. move. It's a ter <laughs> it's a terrible move. <laughs> it's a terrible move because you don't have a sh you won't get a shot and you're playing against uh, 180 degree arc. But I mean, you won't no, get blocked off the board. No, not at all. No, that no, no that the uh, little the little rock's not cornered. If the little rock was cornered, I'd agree with we're you. We're saving it. Not, we're saving it. GSP saving Casino. Yeah, GSP I, I've Casino. I've literally never been wrong in these game states. So you've well, never been wrong, is that what you said? No, I've definitely been wrong. There's a oh, first okay. time. There's a first time for everything, and we'll, we'll play GSP Casino uh, when uh, on the break. By the way, it is interesting. Our YouTube viewers on the last couple of one of these say, like, "Oh, did it happen? Did it happen?" Listen, YouTube viewers, if you watched live, you would have found out. This is that's some of that or. special <laughs> that special secret sauce Brandon. that happens between between the rounds. Or subscribe to Twitch, and then you can watch the replays of the actual. Twitch replay. True that. Uh, that that is true. If you're out there waiting for those uh, Twitch or excuse me, the YouTube videos to be uploaded, oh, uh, oh, you, you oh. could just uh, subscribe. That was a manly side slip. <laughs> wow, he knew it. He had it all day. Had it all day. Oh, he went that way. No, oh, and it fits. Wow. Oh my wow. God. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Making some serious plays oh here. So just, just the four, not the five. But yeah, gets into a nice blocking position here. Um, the A Wings are going to get fooled if they believed you, James. Straight fooled. All right. Yeah, There's a two turn way. to the right. I mean, you're not. You're not offensively relevant at the moment. Clear the stress. You're going to get shot at least by one. Maybe you just take a evade boost to get out of yellows arc. He's already out of yellows. Oh, so you right. could just right. evade. Yeah. Just a squiggle. He does. Just evade boost. What? Not sure why wedges arc. Appeared. I believe we are still in activation. Oh, uh, he's got he's got his dials oh, big and oh, yeah. over they're overlapping their commands. Uh, I hate big dials, and I cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grievous, Grievous. bump in here. Little, that that's tactical, tactical bump. I mean, uh, Grievous has actually been holding on to that Kraken calculate for quite a few rounds now. Making good use of that 11-point upgrade. All right, Wedge just banks here. That's right. Kraken sending Grievous off to school with the lunchbox. Here you go. Here's your calculate. Have a good day at school. All right. Yeah, these these A-wings can't keep stressing themselves, but they need to get away from these HMPs at the same time. Mm -hmm. oh, there's and there's the, the bump. bump. I'm telling you, Might man, that, that K turn looked super good. You would have had a range uh, one on the does. Geonosian. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, I want to check no, it now. We can't it check it now. It doesn't fit. It, all day. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Harris got to focus boost. Get out of Grievous's arc here. And you try to pull the shots towards you, but I don't know if you'd want to do that. It takes an evade. Oh, because you could sling it to Lando for that Falcon title reroll. Oh, interesting, interesting. Now, Her Harris sitting in two arcs. Well, this is the same position of, like, if you focus boost, like, now you're going to be stressed, uh, and you're trying to knife fight uh, Harris who moved before you. It's, it's not good. But they have no other options, man. That's just what they do. They got a boost.
Range one HMP uh, from Lando. No mods though after the bump. Just two. Single got evade. One. one shield off one. of yellow. Well, at least you got the evade. Start you stunt the bleeding. Yeah, see, it's going to be hard to move Hera's evade over to Lando because mm -hmm. uh, the ancient P could just shoot Hera afterwards. If the timing works out right, it's it's one of those where it's like, okay, are there any more shots coming this way? I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's going to have to wait until the very last shot to throw it. No, you can't. And you, and you gotta, got another you one. You got another one. It. Easy, easy. Yeah, those those uh rebel falcons have so many shields. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they they're they're alright for a bit. It's got what thirteen health on the thing. He's okay for a bit. So this one's gonna have two re rolls. Yep, uh, cause grievous locked as well. Uh, only has the single calculate. And roll. No, I should have two calculates. Crit, focus. Spends a single calculate for a hit crit. Yeah, I don't. What was his action then? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Uh, they only saved three calculates. His, his action was the fourth calculate. Oh, the, the other the double calculate is the green one. So pass the evade there to Lando. Got the reroll with the Lando's Millennium Falcon title, or the Millennium Falcon title, and then did we just end up oh, spending wow. the evade? That's that's really good combination. Yeah, that's what I was saying that you could because now you're like evading. You throw it and then reroll it and then spend it if you need it. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice little <laughs> nice little trick there. Uh, so he didn't spend it, though. Or no, that's what he's debating right now. He's debating just, right now, yeah. Uh, he's, he's on the precipice of just, that decision. He's taking both here. Uh, well, I feel like if you if you take both, you're just inviting the shot on to Hera, then. But I guess then they're not shooting at one health Arvel, right? True that. Yeah, that's true. Spread the damage around. He's going to go into him again. All right, another range one shot going at Lando. Two hits. Spends a calculate for three. I mean, it's going to be two damage no yeah, matter what. I mean, yeah, you, you just set the evade down. Literally, everyone has evades, so. But he earned he that one. He earned it. He... <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> so shields down on Lando. Great engagement here for the HMPs. Wow. Yeah. Trading, trading one one shield on yellow, the first shield on yellow, for all the shields on Lando. Gotta love oh, the conversation in our chat that. right now. Shoko MN says, "Oh crap, I know James. Let's go, James." Sub Hedgehog then says, "I know Sebastian. Go Sebastian." <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. There was uh, there was also a question earlier asking like how many foreign twos will will get an invite today. Well, approximately, uh, if you go through, unfortunately, SwissTriangle.net was taken down. Whoever was running it took it down or didn't you know resubscribe for the server stuff. I mean, it was a free service, so I get it. There's a couple other different ones that that exist, but uh, you if you use a Swiss Triangle calculator. So you have three three and O's. We'll have sixteen. Uh, sorry, we'll have three six and O's. Sixteen five and one. So that brings us up to nineteen. And then thirty-two minus nineteen uh, is what thirteen? Yeah, thirteen. And that means we'll have about thirteen four and twos make the top thirty-two and get an invite. Now today's cut is only the top 16 but the tickets for the galactic championship the battle for alderaan go to the top 32 regardless of what the cut is so 
there's that. And then, of course, invites roll down. We've been very insistent that we want to make sure that uh, players who want to go for mul- like they let's say they want to try to win multiple galactic championship qualifiers, we're not going to punish other people by like basically making an invite disappear. We always roll them down. Uh, I think that's that that makes everybody feel good. Works out for everybody. You tuned me out when I started doing math, James. Really? Maybe. Really? It's the weekend. It's the. W- <laughs> it's like I only math. <laughs> on the, only math on the weekdays. <laughs> Too much math on the weekdays. I need to take a break. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this loaf of bread is one million dollars. Listen, I don't do math on the weekends. Just <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> Were Good all question, the Lemu? Uh, that's a great question. No, we, we have 30 of them available still. Um, they're not up on the shop right now, mostly because I didn't have an opportunity to get it set. And the way I did it for Bespin was a little bit unclear, and I'd rather make it clear. So uh, my plan is to make them available for tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow, you know, force willing, we should be, uh, be ready to, to make those available for you guys. Uh, Dion, uh, yes. people are getting their squids today. I yes. got distracted by a bunch of squids uh, posts uh, that people were doing. Yeah. I forget the real name. Triton? I think it's Triton. The Triton, but Squid yeah. just sounds fun. It's so much funner just to say the squid. Uh, man, we got to get some... Uh, uh, we got to do like a Wednesday night uh, try to take down uh, the squid game oh, the if it's on game. tabletop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I was just I, I'm, I'm in for that. I was just thinking I was just thinking that um it would be cool to um I, I mean we'd have to we have to plan it but with with people getting hyped about the squid obviously it's an epic uh, epic level ship or huge ship is the technical term. Um that maybe maybe we set aside a weekend here soonish to uh to do like some epic play here at the studio. Mm, in, that would be cool. In ha- in person squid play. In person, I like that. Uh, is there any updates on uh, pastimes or any other? I I uh, have story. There's a couple stores here that have started opening. Still waiting on pastimes, as you know, that's like the home. Um, right. But yeah, I mean, maybe we could also invite some of the some of the other GSP crew, or some of the other like Gold Squadron. Uh, out, I don't know how to explain. You know, st- store Gold Squadron folks, uh, to see if they want to come over. I know quite a few of them are vaccinated already. It's awesome. On my way, Dion. <laughs> come on, Not let's really. go. Just, get... just take it. Just take a quick trip over here. You'll be <laughs> fine. You'll be back. You'll be back in the UK in no time. And by no time, I mean like hours, but yeah, you know. several several hours. Yeah, I mean it'll be it'll be it'll be faster when you're back in Texas, right? That's like le- le- your commute. Oh, yeah. your, your commute yeah. is like seventy five percent shorter. Come on, just jump in the car. You'll be fine. All right. So we see yellow landed that. No, 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 no. Keep on. no I, okay. I, that's exactly what I said. I was like, oh my <laughs> gosh, this guy has got to stop. <laughs> no, his his HMP just covered up the uh, the his token in HMP just covered it up. The bump. So I think it's funny. It, what's even funnier is hearing uh, uh, non English speaking casters say bump, uh, like it's like a non like I don't know. I, do you do you know what I'm trying to say? I, I do not know what you're trying to say. That they say bump like it's an X-wing term. It's like it's like no different than them saying uh, wedge Antilles. That they're like they'll say bump instead of their localized word for a collision. Oh, really? Yeah, it caught that, me off guard. That's funny. Like like they say <laughs> focus token the same way they say bump. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that is funny. <laughs> All right, Wedge. 
No, sorry, that's our Vol Wedge is up next. Grievous slooped there. Very interesting. If they get the block on Lando, that opens up DGS 47 to shoot at him. Oh, I, th I thought maybe a barrel left boost from Jake or from Wedge would be good to boost mm -hmm. around the far side of that debris. No, nah, man, there's... Uh, uh, James here, I think, is starting to feel the pressure and needs oh. to get some mods going. Man, that... I, whew, man, Sebastian being able to hide the Geonosian green for another <laughs> turn, amazing. Mm -hmm. Great play. Yeah, Arbo maybe has range on him, but it's going to have to go... Uh, two for two. Yeah, Hera can't hand a rotate out. Template? She can't? She's garbage. Oh. The worst. Why are you making them do things, James? I just need to know. That's okay. Yeah, I just wanted to see if yellow would have... If yellow caused the bump or green, or if he would have bumped into Harry either way. I think he would have bumped into Harry either way, though. Yeah, I think so, too. We we're, we're not wrong. But Lando loves his blue maneuvers, though. Oh, Hera, You're right. He should, have just, he should have just hard threed. Would have looked great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. Going into yellow, range one. And range here one. we go. Ooh. Two hits and a crit. Okay. Trying to make it hurt. Got the squiggle, Man. though. Takes two. Those are both shields, and that means the crit is not going underneath. Grievous is up. Yeah, it's going to try to pull the shot into Wedge here. I like this uh, rotation here, but it might cost Wedge a lot more than he expects. Two hits and a focus. I'm going to be staying there at two. Got enough squiggles. Ooh, he's good. No problem. I'm baited shot complete. <laughs> Peak complete. <laughs> All right, and, so you, oh, you here gotta we go. take it Arvel. to green, right? Yeah, you yes, got, you gotta go after green, hundred percent. Then yeah. and there it is. There's the ping. Come on, Arvel. Two calculates out there. Pew pew, just one. And the calculate gets spent there to avoid the damage. Shots are likely going into Lando at range one since he's currently sitting in the pocket. Mm -hmm. No danger. The points of half on him. One hit. Spend calculate for two. Does he have any? He does have a target lock out there. So going to be able to reroll one with networked aim and convert for a total of three. Two more damage on the Lando. And that's going to get us a little bit closer to the end for Lando. Uh, it's at 7 of 13. Mm -hmm. It's half points. Not the end, but half points. Though. I was waiting for Dion to look. Let's see if there was a whole upgrade. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That's why I said it. My, my statement was still true. My statement was still true. Closer to death. That's why I was like, wait, is it has a hollow gray? I got a double try. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, so it ends up being one more damage here. Or no, sorry. I harassed Smithy Evade to avoid it. No big deal. Um, two more damage onto Lando coming in after Red Shot. And that's that, going to be it. That leaves Lando at four hole. 
And that is uh that is the most expensive ship in Le in James list. Wow, that word didn't want to come you, out uh, of my brain. Medium? Uh yes. Promote. You've been promoted from junior producer to producer. <laughs> to less junior producer. <laughs> Senior junior producer. To production assistant on Paint Wars. Assistant to the Paint Wars, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> assistant to the assistant. So going into this round, the only active HMP repulsor is red. So I do I do keep them updated on the overlay as well. If anyone is interested. Cool. Yep. I mean that, that's that's something important, especially here on GSP. You know, while we can, we do. It's going to be a little bit different in person, though. One of the things I'm looking forward to. Um, is, you know, since we've started this producer position as part of our, our stream team, um, is continuing to do that even in in-person events. And, uh, hopefully we can get some stable internet and be able to, you know, like get, give a, a direct feed to James of the games as well as streaming it out. And that way he can, uh, can help us out with that. Yeah, Though, yeah it, it worked really well for the GSP showdown. Mm-hmm. That was our that was our beta test. Yeah. I feel like a, a true guinea pig. Not a guinea pig, but a a researcher. <laughs> in 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 our in our grand grand mission for better streaming. And we're getting a bump there for the yellow Geonosia. Just keeping keeping that arc, 180-degree arc, pointed in the direction of where those A-wings are going to be. Did this work? So, so, so uh, excuse me. So James can take the lead here, but uh, he really can't lose Arvo. Or I think the the game's mm -hmm. over. I agree. He needs thirty nine points, so he needs to get two halves here. One one damage on yellow, two damage on green. Yeah. Well, then again, like I said, can't lose Arvo or Lando. Well, it's like this will be last round as well. Mm -hmm. I guess there's only two ships to move, but there's still... I think every single ship is going to have a chance except for our roll dome. Arvel, survive. Now, maybe Lando now can finally take out the Geonosian prototype. I mean, you got a boost here with it, here, right? No. I mean, boost into Gr Grievous's arc. Yeah, but you have. Would you have a shot? No, I doubt no. it. All right, this is the big shot here, though. Two hits. Uh, he bumped. Oh. No calculate. No they're, cal they're diving. There we go. They're really looking for one. But he's gone. 
And yep, that's use the one um, that he needed. Yep, use the rest of those calculates on defense. It also means the green lock, wherever it is, is gone as well. That's the lock on wedge. Takes away a modification for the squad. Here we go. Grievous, range one, two hits and a crit. No other modifiers. Let's see what wedge does to respond. And yeah, spent, that, can't give up the points. Yep. That is a this is a focus. Yep, can't can't give up any points with forty seconds on the clock. It was thinking about Hera? No, that still you give up points though. There it is. Yeah. Has to spin. You can take one shield. Single shield down on wedge. James at 44 to Sebastian 60. Oops. Very close here. Uh, wedge has to do, has to get a hit on yellow. One hit on two dice. Wedge will take away the defensive roll. That's time in the round, right? 85, 85 minutes is one hour and 25, right? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, a, a secret lock. What? Yeah, he picked it up last round. There it is. There's the crit. No, you don't get to roll. That's Wedge. Well, I rolled a blank. <laughs> oh, good try, but... So you do end up getting uh, half points there on the yellow Geonosian prototype, and that brings yeah, them that to puts them 66, head. puts them ahead. Is wow. that it? No, no. no we got two HMPs yeah, to fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yellow can only shoot at uh, – so one damage on Wedge. Uh, wedge will have an evade. Uh, and I don't think 47 – could kill Lando, so they'll probably just both shoot into Wedge here. Two attack dice on three agility with an evade. Uh, the killed the green uh, Geonosian prototype as well, so no re-rolls. Oh, man. Is James going to pull it out here at the last round? He might. At Let's time? see. One damage on Wedge. Uh, the only I calculate to modify. One hit. He's got two. He's full blank up from Wedge. He has the hero of aid, but it won't be enough. Two. No problem. Wow. I'm so, I'm so surprised by that. James pulled it off. James gets the W. 66 to 60 here. The Rebellion comes from behind. Wow. Congratulations. That's been round three of the Lemu Galactic Championship qualifier. Let's go ahead and pay out those bets. And that's James winning with a 47% voting rate. So voted as the underdog. Shoko, Shoko very excited to know James here. Uh, calling said, it out. That's the best man at my wedding. Well, that's awesome. Well, he's also the best man at this table. That's right. It's a duel. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.